This is the initial test for the binary clock components. Uh, this is the first run. It's definitely not the whole clock, just a test of the components. Um, over here, we have the timing circuit, and this consists of an A stable circuit with a 555 timer, and the frequency of this can be adjusted by a potentiometer. Uh, so if your clock is running ahead or behind or, or fast or slow, you can uh, adjust it with the potentiometer. Um, this A stable circuit consists of a capacitor and uh, two resistors, uh, one of them being the potentiometer, um, to control the frequency. Um, more information about A stable circuits can be found online and the, the um, formula uh, for the frequency. Uh, over here we have our uh, counters and the first one takes in the clock signal. Um, so far I only have the first one hooked up. Uh, so that takes in the clock signal and um, it resets because it resets when it hits 9 because uh, 1010 is hooked up to this NAND gate um, which is 10 in binary uh, to reset the counter. So the counter is reset at 9 and, uh, and the output um, of the counter goes to this 7 segment decoder uh, the, the binary coded decimal to 7 segment uh, decoder. Um, so that, that's the binary signal going in there and then it outputs to the 7 segment display formatting. So that's what we can see over here. So that's all for now. Thanks.